baka you can offer an explanation also to taxpayers. How, kung above board po pa talaga yung paggamit nitong mga confidential funds. Para matapos na rin, ma'am, yung question once and for all. Yes, ma'am. I'm not being evasive. Um, if you are referring to the Congress, to the budget hearing and the uh, hearings in the House of Rep Representatives, I'm not being evasive. I am not answering the questions because they have no authority to ask confidential questions. I am answering questions about the use of the money in the Commission on Audit. And there is no, you ask the Commission on Audit if there was anything at all that they can say or see that we are not cooperative with the audit. So it is wrong to say that I am evasive. I am definitely not answering questions about the use of the fund, about confidential funds, because it pertains to national security and the lives of the people involved in intelligence operations. And uh, yes, as I said, we have fully cooperated with the audit process of the Commission on Audit, who has the sole jurisdiction to ask questions about the use of confidential funds. funds. In fact, um, two quarters of the Department of Education are already cleared by the Commission on Audit, but it is still being questioned inside the committee uh, in the House of Representatives. So, um, that is the reason why I am not answering questions from the House of uh, Representatives. Plus the fact that, as I said, it is an attack. It is a political attack. If you were, if you're, you are in aid of legislation and you want to legislate about confidential funds, you do not target one office and terrorize and torment the employees of that office what you do is you what uh, do a sampling a random sampling of the offices who have confidential funds why not call the office of the president who has billions and billions of confidential funds if you want to legislate about uh, confidential funds so that shows that um, they're singling out the office of the vice president and I really feel that it's very disrespectful to the office of the vice president. That is also why when they ask that I respect their process, you know, beget, uh, respect begets respect. So if they want respect, they should first respect the office of the vice president. That is what I was saying, that they don't like me. They don't like my person. They don't like my Sara Duterte, but they have to respect the office of the vice president. So if they want to investigate confidential funds, they don't single out one office. 